Welcome to Your Stock Request for the 26th of April. I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Send me your request. This is a video where I only look at stocks as requested by you. Um, and also make sure you share this on social media. Um, today we're looking at ICQ, Transurban, SHM and BHP. And also just note that any advice is general only. Okay, ICQ, which is ICAR Asia. This is a weekly chart going back the last few years. Uh, if I zoom out a bit more, you can see that it recently traded as high as about $1.80 and has fallen all the way down to these current levels between about 20 and 30 cents. Um, it looks quite interesting here. Um, the first thing I've, I've noticed is any sort of rallies over the last year or so have been fairly impulsive, like this one here and the pullbacks have been fairly corrective. Looks like it's gone to a marginally new low, but then jumped up um, quite comprehensively. Um, and again, and the volume coming in now. So that's all a good sign, um, but it is still building a base. Um, but as I always say, uh, the longer that we build a base for, or the longer that a stock consolidates for, uh, the more powerful the move when it does eventually break out. So as we can see here, we've got this sort of year and a half basing pattern. Um, uh, clearly this, this seems to be the top of it around that sort of 30 cent mark. Um, it looks like it's on the way towards the top again to retest it. Uh, again, if we break through here, we're gonna get a fairly decent move. And what I've spotted is this gap here on the uh, on the weekly chart. So, you know, give or take a few cents either side of 60 is a potential target, um, but we just need to see it break through 30 cents first. Okay, Transurban. Uh, this is a weekly chart going back the last few years. Um, what I've noticed is sort of a couple of attempts to go to new highs, but then but then they fail. Uh, the stock tends to fail at that point. So we can see back here, 2016, got to about 12.50, was sold off pretty sharply, rallied just as sharply, which is good. But we could see it's been three attempts towards this new high, and then it was sold off uh, very sharply here. So that's not a good sign. It's tried to go back there, managed to get a little bit higher, but again, it's been sold off pretty sharply. So I'm just looking at these candlesticks, the weekly ones, you know, big moves down, couple of attempts to go higher, another couple of moves down. And what I've noticed is it, it looked like it, it looked like it was finding support here near this previous low, tried to rally, but then was sold down again, quite comprehensively. So it's made a lower low, and I think what we'll ultimately get is a move potentially back towards this sort of sub $10 region, um, which would be great as a buying opportunity. Um, so if I just zoom out, we're essentially gonna get this big sort of flat correction in Transurban. So we might see essentially a two year consolidation of that previous uptrend. And then maybe down here we can, um, yeah, start thinking about buying it. Okay, Shriro Holdings. So this isn't, it's not one I'm familiar with. Um, so the stock code SHM, this is again a weekly chart. The trend in the last six months of 2017 was, was pretty strong. I mean, a pretty textbook example of what you wanna see. Um, you know, impulsive moves up, we've got some gapping here, fairly flat move down, gapping up again, flat correction gapping flat, just exactly what you want to see. Unfortunately, um, it's now heading down and it's displaying those same characteristics, but in reverse. So big move down, struggle to go higher, big move down, flat move. It's probably just going to keep heading down. Um, where it finds support, you know, maybe this sort of dollar region, but um, yeah, essentially it was Good to see that one on the way up, but the way it's trading now, I'd suggest that it's got lower levels. Um, and until we see some sort of support established, 
I'd have to bet that it would keep heading lower. Okay, finally BHP, um, which is one I've touched on a number of times. We had it in our um, client research a um, number of weeks back, but for a while now I've been talking about that $28 level. So sort of quick recap. So we could see during the previous rally in BHP, it retraced back to the 38.2% retracement, then rallied. Um, so I was looking for something similar again. So I was looking for a move back. So that after we took profits earlier this year, I was looking for a move back towards 28, um, which was the 38.2. If I remove the Fibonacci tool, I was also expecting it to sit on top of the previous high. So BHP is going to rally quite um, impulsively. We you know, ideally want to see it sit on top of that previous high, which is what it's done. And we can see that um, sort of fantastic move there. So clearly this is going to a new high. Previous high was $32. So you'd be looking at about $33. Um, going back to some go back to some previous sort of potential support levels so we've got around $33 there um, so that's where I'll start thinking about maybe taking profits um, but there's also some obvious resistance near $35 so a move up towards 33 is what I'm expecting. Um, if the market overall is pretty bullish, and um, yeah, we might we might see BHP extend that towards even 35. So they're the sort of two levels. Um, at the moment, it's trading at 31. Uh, obviously, any sort of you know short-term weakness is a buying opportunity. But if I have a look at the daily chart here, you could see that since it launched off $28, I think it's only been down for one day or two days. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's looking pretty strong. So if you're a hold of BHP, um, you should be fairly happy. Okay, well that's it for this week. Um, as always, send me your requests um, for next week's video and share the video on social media.